Hey guys, this video starts what I'm hoping is the beginning of quite a few series of videos for um, what I'm going to call, I don't know if it's going to stick, but it's going to be let's build as the prefix and then something after that. So I'm going to be building things um, that revolve around design and both development and hopefully experimenting with new technologies as I go. Um, this first one and the point of this first video is to introduce this next project called Let's Build a Consultancy Website. And this is actually for my fiance Alyssa, who is my partner in crime at Couple of Creatives, which I have linked below in the show notes. And um, essentially she is a consultant on the side, just like I am for like development or design. She is for branding and marketing. Um, she essentially tries to get inside a business's mindset and, you know, help them grow as a brand and become more identifiable by their um, customers, their users, the public in general. So my goal for this project is to help her essentially voice what she does, how she does it, and all of those things combined in her own personal website, which is an alias of her own. Uh, it's called Endless Designs, and uh, she started as a designer and now is transitioning into more of a consultant. So the next part of this video will be me kind of walking you through who she is, what she is about. You'll get to meet her and hopefully learn more about her project. My goal for these series of videos, which I hope you guys will enjoy, will be to start experimenting with different technologies and building websites and stuff. Um, using new stuff, WordPress um, probably won't be utilized in this series, I don't think. I'm going to try to do something different, maybe a static site generator of some sort, something without you know all the security flaws of WordPress. So look to that in the future. I'm not zeroed in on what technologies I will be using, but um, we'll get to that in a later episode. This will be, this project in itself will be from like start to finish. So I'm going to try to document like everything. Um, we plan to shoot some photography, for instance. So I hope to cue some of that in, in terms of video and um, design as well. So that'll be the full stage of a real life project is what I'm trying to kind of give you a, a perception perception of. Uh, so the next part will be me kind of doing a discovery meeting, which is essentially what I would do with a real client. I'd, you know, set up a call or go meet them or something and figure out what the, what their real need is and not, no, not what they think they need, so to speak. So get in the mind of them and then try to get in the mind of their market and try to uh, translate that into a design that captures what it is they're going for. And, you know, something that will entice their market users or customers, consumers, etc., to buy into whatever it is they're offering. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Um, the next part will be, again, me going into depth with, about the project with Alyssa. You'll get to meet her. And I hope you will subscribe and like for this series. Um, uh, it would help me, you know, to just know that you're paying attention to keep going. So thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next part. Hey guys, Andy here. Um, this is the beginning of a new series I'm going to be contributing to uh, for my channel and for the blog um, at webcrunch.com. Go check that out. Uh, but essentially this series is me taking a, a full-time project and going through each phase, but you know, almost vlogging the whole process. So my client per se is my fiance Alyssa here Hello. so meet meet Alyssa hi I'm Alyssa I'm yeah. Andy's partner here at couple of creatives and, and my we... main partner <laughs> um but anyway uh what we're gonna do she's a consultant mm -hmm. on the side so um I want her to at least explain give her give us a rundown of what it is you do Okay, so before Andy and I partnered and started our branding agency, a couple of creatives, we're, we were each freelancers. He specializes in web design and development. I specialize in more design and brand strategy. So my side business is called Endless Designs, and I am going to have him develop my new website and so that I could pursue my own independent business still um, as a consultant. 
and um, also use it sort of as a, a lead generator for new design work as well for our agency. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, okay. So who are you independently targeting? So I'm thinking I'm going to be working with mostly um, startups and small businesses, primarily yeah. because I'm looking to work with people who want to rebrand. Okay. So either create a new brand or rebrand. Okay. That's kind of who I'm wanting to work with as opposed to well-established companies that already have strong branding. Gotcha. So let me pre preface these questions. Basically, this intro video is introducing Alyssa, mm -hmm. introducing the project and also a discovery meeting. So for instance, if you were going to start a new project with a client, say you're a designer or freelancer or something like that, you want to actually kind of understand what it, what the problem is first and, you know, hear what the client's going through, what kind of solutions they've tried, maybe things aren't working if they're working um, or if they're just new to the game and you, you, you're there to kind of you know, help them through the process. So, um, let me re ask that question again and we'll start over. Okay. So who are you targeting and why? I'm targeting startups and small businesses because I want to work with businesses that are interested in branding mm -hmm. or rebranding. And so I don't, I'm not targeting well-established companies that are already have a strong brand. So I'm going to be working with mostly startups. Okay. You're, you're fairly new to the, not new to the consulting, but the business entity is new. So what problems are you facing currently? Um, absolutely, because when I've, I've had my business Endless Designs for about five years now, mm -hmm. and from the start, I always marketed myself as a freelance graphic designer. Now I'm evolving that business to be seen as more of a consultancy. Mm -hmm. I'm still a designer, but I'm going to be using this business to consult clients on their brand strategy. Okay. And um, it'll actually be a twofold business goal because not only will I be consulting businesses that are interested in uh, improving their brand strategy, I'm also going to use it as a lead generator for p clients who do want designs executed because then we could also execute right. those through our branding Benefits agency. Me too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how would you say you're set apart from uh, other people in your industry who are um, doing the same thing? Well, the main distinguisher I find for myself is that I specialize in branding. So okay. there's going to be marketing consultants out there who specialize in all kinds of different avenues of marketing. So right. I'm focused on branding. Okay. So um, everything that will entail, I will be the branding go-to consultant right. in St. Louis. Okay. So how, how, if you were to, okay, just a general overview of how would that be different than someone else currently in St. Louis doing branding as well? Like what, oh, okay. what, so, what's your selling point? What's your I elevator see. pitch okay. kind of thing? Well, um, my name, Endless Designs, I think in itself kind of communicates that I have creativity. So I'm not just a consultant right. who is going to give you the insight you need and then have you go on your own and do whatever. I also am a designer professionally, so I can not only offer consultation, but also execute my, yeah. my plans. And then you well. could also refer our business exactly. to do the whole, the whole bit. Right. So, so. very, full, very much a full service approach. So yeah. I think that is going to be a strong distinguisher against uh, my competitors. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. So for your site, the actual site itself, what kind of timeline were you hoping for? Well, um, I would like to get this up and running by this summer. Okay. So I'm, it's April, 2017 right now. Right. So, so, I mean, realistically, I mean, I'm in no huge rush because I've got plenty of other sure. projects I'm working on at this time, but we've got our, our business. I've got this blog. Yeah. We've got our blog and exactly. we're, we're pumping, by the way, go check out our channel. It's couple of creatives on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, that's our other video. It's about marketing and branding similar to this, but mm -hmm. both of us. So yeah. So yes, we've got plenty of projects in the works right now. Yeah. So I'm not in a huge rush to get this launched, but I mean, obviously sooner the better. Sure. And obviously that facet benefits us. So mm -hmm. my, my goal is to also, you know, make it appear professional mm -hmm. and kind of cohesive 
to us as a, a partnership. So is, is there any future plans for products or goods or anything like that on the site, like e-commerce? Absolutely, I've already got plans to scale. Okay. Uh, so in the future, <laughs> once I already have my foundation well established, I would like to uh, create online programs. Okay. Eventually I would like to start my own online course mm-hmm. so that instead of meeting one-on-one with clients, I could actually have them sign up and be a, a student of my online course. Right. For your site, do you anticipate like blogging on it or maybe will you kind of cross promote on our sites to it kind of thing? What do you or? recommend? Because I'm definitely open to blogging. I already blog for a couple of creatives. I like to blog and I definitely see the value of it. Right. So I mean, from a S- technical SEO perspective, if the more links you generate from your URL, the mm-hmm. better. So your site get, it gets indexed further mm, okay. in search engines. But um, at the same time, you can target it different ways or you can market it in different specific mm-hmm. ways. Um, yep, so, so I'm open a, to your suggestions on that. Yeah. Um, definitely, I definitely see the value in having a blog if I do want to generate more traffic. So if, uh, if that's something that you would be open yeah. to doing, then I would be open to maintaining a blog on a regular basis. We'll see, we'll see kind of how the tech stack unfolds. I'm thinking it's more of a lightweight approach Mm -hmm. for her site. And I think she's on board with that. Um, I'm going to get into some of those questions in a minute, but yeah, actually right now. Uh, okay. So you, you have branding I know of, do you plan to kind of, I do. Yeah. So like I said, I've been, uh, in a business for myself for five years. So, my customers are already familiar with my brand. I've already got a logo and my main messaging that I'm always communicating about right. my business. So I think I would like to keep it. Maybe just um, you tweak, know, tweak it a little yeah, bit here develop it a little bit more. Okay, cool. Um, so photography, we probably need to shoot some. I would. Yeah. Um, that's actually a big uh, component that I want in this project. I want a lot of visuals, visuals yeah. and personable custom photography. I've noticed just briefly scanning other consultancy websites, they're very uh, theme-like. I don't know if you've you've seen some. Yes. They're very okay, generic. Plug and play. Here's some content and you really don't know who you're actually hiring. You see just like a generic <laughs> business person in a suit and yeah. that's it. Like I uh, want it to be me so people come to the site and see, oh, there's Alyssa. That's who I'll be working with. I yeah. want it to be photos of me in my realm of working. Not those so cliche stock photos that everyone probably despises at this point where it's just a group of corporate people like (laughs) thumbs up. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I want everything on my website to be completely custom. Right. Um, In terms of technical, editing content is probably a must for you. Like I know you're, you can edit some code, but Mm -hmm. in a matter of ease and speed you right. probably want a way to edit it i right? would like to have a, an easy okay. content so, management system so i could easily update my content right. on a regular so basis typically i would go oh wordpress but we're kind of like we're both kind of i'm on the yeah. fence with wordpress these days so it's just there's so many reasons but i won't go into that but um, maybe we can do some sort of static site mm-hmm that is updatable with a templating engine of some sort. I'll have to like research that. But All right, yeah, yeah, that would work for sure. It'd be pretty neat. Um, okay, you have your domain. I do. It's www.endlessdesigns.com. Okay, World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, and then since you're maybe planning to scale it to offering goods and services, you probably need e-commerce in the future. Um, in the future, but at this initial yeah. launch, I don't think I'm I would be needing anything e-commerce. I'm thinking point. like a soft launch, obviously launching it, but then adding features as we go mm-hmm. kind of thing. So, Definitely. Okay, cool. It'll be an evolving work in progress. Okay. Yeah. I think that sums up the discovery question and answer Q and a kind of scenario here. So, um, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you. Obviously. From, from this point forward, we'll probably do check-ins, um, just like a client customer relationship. So, um, even the photography shoot she mentioned, we'll probably, I'll probably, you know, at least share photos Mm -hmm. or screens stills of that process just to show you guys behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, just to give you a real life Mm -hmm. point of view from a project, uh, as, as especially for people who are looking to hire us, maybe they can see what, what goes into it and why why our mm-hmm. pricing is the way it is per se. Mm-hmm. So um, many people, 
you know, budget relating, don't always have it. Some do, but they're just curious of why it, things cost what mm -hmm. they do. So I'm rambling. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe for more. There'll be plenty of updates coming. It'll be kind of a, a vlog slash documentary slash screencast series. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, and that is it. I'll see you in the next video.